one of the testifiers. I want to testify to the glory of the Lord. You did not clap for me because you see me doing MC. Last Saturday, I was here. The only thing there is that I said, I told somebody here in this church, I said, God is here. I can see. On Saturday last week, I received a call before I entered this church. Almost outside the church there. Outside the church. One of uh, the companies I was working with called me. He said, Mr. Willie, sorry, you are fired. Uh -uh. I said, what for? At least if you want to fire me, give me a query. So I tell God, thank God I'm here to work for God. We went out for what's it called administration. We give out the immediately when we came back, I entered the church. But I am actually it doesn't baffle me. But I was touched. Whenever I remember, I said, ah, what? what? On Sunday here in this church, I received another call. One of the appointment letters I've submitted. I don't even I've forgotten. That man just called me. Mr. Oyele, you are hired. Go on your WhatsApp, upload your CV. Please put your together for God. Just help me to appreciate this God for what he has done. God hired me immediately that Sunday because I work for him in this church. Put your together for God. Thank you very much. The next testifier. Anybody? Shout hallelujah. Is that how you can praise God? Come on. You can do better than this. You know, I, when I walked in here, I saw the tradition in this place. And I know that there are people here that can do better for God. And if you know you're among those that can do better for God, can you rise up and shout a bigger hallelujah? And this testimony I'm giving, I'm telling you this because you will be the next testifier. I said you will be the next testifier. I'm not saying this because I want to impress you or impress anybody, but I, I felt this strongly within me that somebody here, before tomorrow, there will be a reason for you to testify. Amen. Amen. I thank God because when I received the call to be here, invited for this program, just about an hour after then, I, I started having this strange pain. The pain was, I call it strange because I haven't felt such pain before. It was so strange from the back to the front. It's covered that even when I tried to walk, I was bending. I couldn't stand straight. And actually, at first, I was taking it lightly. I felt, what could this be? Because I'm not this person that always want to deal on drugs. So most times when I feel certain things, I just I say, come on, go. I pray. And I forgot about it and it's gone. But then I just, I ignored it. I went to my various activities, but I discovered I was bending. But I just want to thank God. I told God something. I said, are you telling me, is this a sign that you don't want me to go to that church? Because so many things happen. That's the way God speaks to me. So when I don't want to, a place, I say, God, do you want me to go? You don't want me to, is it a sign that you don't want me to go to that church? Okay, fine. If you don't want to go to that church, let the pain remain. And go tomorrow after the program. But if you want me to go, <laughs> as I'm going to lie down, when I wake up, I don't want to see the pain. And that was exactly how it happened. And that's why you see me. That's the first testimony. Second testimony, when I walked in here, this is my first time here. I sat, when I was taken to the minister's corner, something happened, which I know that indeed God is in this place. I don't care whether I just, I'm not, it's not by the crowd. But there is something, when I go to a place, I know God is somewhere. When I came in here, nobody, nobody knows I'm coming here. Nobody. But the first person that came into my heart, I sat down here. When I watched the environment, I thought of one person. I said, immediately after this program, I am going to look for the number of this person. Contact this person. And I was so shocked. That I'm still sitting here in this program. The same person I was thinking I was going to look at for walked into this place. 
ladies and gentlemen, it's a test you may not understand. This is two years now I haven't seen Evangelist Joe Lugard. He's a, he's a gospel artist, he's a, a great man of God, a great minister. Well, back when I was the chairman of the youth, Christian youth of this local government, we have worked together for years. And for some time, we have not seen. So he came to my mind. And I just believe something for sure. If not for me, but for someone seated here, that for the fact that he came to my mind, it's a testimony you will not understand. Someone I have not seen for two years, and then I thought of him. He was seated, he was passing, according to him. He's going for a program. He was already passing here. And something asked him. His crew members are already in the program, sir. Right? They are already waiting for him. But something told him, stop. And this is your first time of coming here. And you are telling me that there is no God here. Listen, there is, listen. Let me, let me tell you something. I don't talk to impress anybody. But be the fathers, the first time I'm stepping my feet to this place, something has already shown me. I don't need your conviction. I don't need anybody to tell me anything. But I know there is God here. And I speak this one more thing. That before tomorrow, before this time tomorrow, somebody here, there is a reason why you must testify. Thank you very much, man of God. I love you. God bless you. For God bringing you here, it's a testimony. And I know that somebody is coming out here tomorrow to testify. God bless you. Yeah, please put your hands for Pastor David. Now. I surrender. I surrender all. I surrender, I surrender all unto thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender, I surrender all. Have you surrendered? Have you surrendered to Lord? Have you surrendered? Have you surrendered to Lord? Oh, to thee, your blessed Redeemer. Have you surrendered? Have you surrendered to God? There is no short way to heaven. There is no short way. There is no short way to heaven. There is no short way. There is no short way to heaven. There is no short way. There is no short way to heaven again. There is no short way. There is no short way. There is no short way to ever live There is no short way. There is no short way. There is no short way to ever live. The Lord is coming back, is calling you to repent. The Lord is coming back, is calling you to repent. The Lord is calling you, is calling you to repent. Have you ready? Are you ready to give? Your life to Jesus. Are you ready? Or oh, are just dancing? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the rapture is taking place? Are you ready? The Lord is coming. Ayangamyo, ayangamyo, kwaini, kwaini. 
Ayangamyo, ayangamyo. Ayangamyo, ayangamyo. Ayangamyo, ayangamyo. Oh, ayangamyo, ayangamyo. Oh, ayangamyo, ayangamyo. Oh, Jesus, the young am yo, a young am yo, quine, quine, a young am yo, quine, quine, Jesus, a young am yo, yo, quine, 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 a young am yo, yo, quine, 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 praise the Lord, praise the Lord, church, praise the Lord. My name is Sister Goswill. I just want to thank God for what God has done for me. Four days ago, I bought a bike heading to Aja. On getting to that police station, the bike man was at the middle of the road. The next thing I heard was, Bo! I was like, where are they throwing this bomb? The next thing I heard, the bike was just dangling. And behold, I looked at my back. You won't understand. There was no vehicle coming. I just want to tell God, thank you. I just want to give him all the praise for saving my life. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus.